Hello, good day learners. I know all of you are excited to learn, right? So I am Teacher Lorne and we are going to learn an exciting topic today. Dear learners, our topic for today is about distinguishing reality from fantasy. Before we proceed, let's have a quick review for our topic yesterday. Let's read a group of sentences. Build their nest in the tree. Meg uses lumber from trees in building their houses. Other animals like birds live on trees. Some parts of trees are used as medicine. What is the main idea of these sentences? Is it letter A? Trees are useful to men and animals. Letter B. Trees grow big and strong. Yes, letter A is the main idea. Learners, when you put salt in the water, what happens to the salt? Mm, yes, it dissolves. And when you ask something, do you make some request? Do you want to hear a story from teacher? Oh yes, so the title of our story is Why the Sea is Salty. So please listen to teacher. There lived a very strong giant named Angelo. He was very, very tall. When he went fishing in the sea, the water was only up to his knees. When he walked along the mountains, the highest mountain stood no higher than his ankles. One day, the people in the village did not, did not have salt anymore. The waves were very big and strong. They could not go out to see riding in their small boats. Then they remembered Angelo. Why don't we ask Angelo to put his legs across the ocean? Then, we didn't have to ride in our small boats and said to an old man. Uh -huh. Then the men fell into the sea with their bags of salt. Angelo helped the men out of the water and saved their lives, but the salt had dissolved in the water. That is why the sea is salty. My dear learners, do you like this story? Huh? Oh, yes. So, I have here some sentences. Let's read together. Number one, the leg of the giant can be used as a bridge. Number two, aunt's bite is painful. So, these sentences is true. Huh? Yes, number two, aunt's bite is painful. How about false or make-believe? Oh, number one, the leg of the giant can be used as a bridge. Yes, very good. An idea, sentences, or event that can happen in real life is called reality. It is what you see, what you hear, and what you experience. So, for example, we have your mother. So, they are true. They are rea in reality because we can see them, we can hear them and experience them as well and another one is the stars shine at night it is reality an idea sentences or event that cannot happen in real life is called fantasy yes for example we have batman superman dragons mm, what else um the witch can talk to the dead yes all are not true so it is fantasy so i have here some pictures so first one we have yes it's a hope is it fantasy or reality yes it is a fantasy the next picture oh yes we have some fruit is it fantasy or reality hmm? yes reality because we can see it anywhere and the next picture Oh, we have the half man and half snake. Is it reality or fantasy? Hmm? Yes, a fantasy. How about this many? 500 pesos. Is it fantasy or reality? Hmm? Yes, it is reality. And the last one, we have the pol We have the policeman. Is it fantasy or reality? Yes. It is our reality because we can see them around us. My dear learners, let's read some sentences and let's try to distinguish if it is fantasy or reality. Are you ready? 
Okay, number one. Father went fishing with his friends. Is it fantasy or reality? Oh yes, it is reality. Number two. Superman can carry the whole world. Fantasy or reality? Yes, fantasy because Superman doesn't exist. Number three. Vampire may live up to 1,000 years old. Fantasy or reality? Hmm? Oh, yes, it is fantasy. Number four. The children went to school. Fantasy or reality? Yes, reality. Number four. Mother bought cake for Camille's birthday. Fantasy or reality? Hmm? Yes, it is a reality. So let's uh, let's clap together because you did great. Give you a very short story. So let's try to distinguish from reality and a fantasy based on the short story. Okay? My father is a policeman. He is driving a car as big as house. He can run faster than the horse. I love my father because he cares for us and the people. So from this short story, which of them are fantasy? Hmm? Yes, he is driving a car as big as house because the car cannot be as big, bigger, much bigger than the house. What else? Mm, he can run faster than the horse, so it is a fantasy. And the reality, yes, my father is a policeman. My father is a policeman is a reality. And the next, because my father cares for us and the people, it is indeed a reality. Perfect. Okay, my dear learners, always remember that fantasy is not real. It is only our imagination. It is not true. While reality, it exists around us. We can see, we can hear, and we can experience. So that's it. Oh, for teacher to determine and understand if you are really listening, I have here prepared activities for you. So good luck, and I know you can do it. So my dear students, you did well for today. So goodbye for now and see you next time. Have a nice day.